the perfect timing for rosé is breakfast. Um, I don't drink coffee anymore myself. Um, I prefer to drink champagne. Yes. So champagne will make you will make you very happy, while coffee stresses everybody. So just just drink champagne. It makes your day much easier. First of all, this is not a virus on the label, okay, just to make sure because we got that question very, very often right now. <laughs> this is like a flower exploding, you know, it's yeah, much better it, that way. It looks like a dandelion. Um, <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, beside the joke, <clears throat> um, Insouciance is a blended style rosé. So when I say blended, this is just before bottling, we can blend some red wine that we make from very old vineyards and the white base. Um, just to, and, and I like that technique because I can be once again very precise and I can be very um, specific in the style I'm looking for. When I drink rosé, um, I'm very selfish, but I make the wine I can drink basically. Uh, and I like rosé when this is very um, high tone, very delicate, very uplifted, and with a great salinity on, on, the, um, in, on the palate, in the palate of this wine. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I think blended is for me the key to reach that, that goal. I also like to use slightly more Chardonnay in, in the blend, because I think Chardonnay brings more flower kind of flavors and also can bring um, a great um, um, sharpness on the finish of the wine. Mm -hmm. Basically, I like rosé when it makes me thirsty. Um, um, and, uh, well, I'm, I have many problems like this, but uh, many friends too. Anyway, um, and the rosé, is it, do you have the base, we, the base here on the back label? So, um, I have the stock from Artisan Cellars and it's very fresh, which is great. So the the Arbitation was disgorged in 2020 with a base year of 2016. Yeah, okay, okay. And yeah. the rosé is 17, um, I guess. 17 with a November 19 disgorgement. Okay, so the rosé basically, this one stayed, uh, you know, yeah, 20, 20 months on, on, on the, um, of aging. <clears throat> Dosage is five grams. Um, and I think in Champagne, rosé is going in, in many directions. You know, some of them are, are very tannic, some of them are strong, some of them are sweet. I like to, once again, that our rosé expresses this north-facing slope of Montagne de Reims, once again. That rosé, <clears throat> um, so it has to be fresh, has to be sharp, and it has to be very delicate. That's what I like in the rosé. Mm -hmm. And so in this rosé you have, um, in the red wine, it is not just Pinot Noir, but also Meunier, I believe. Yep, yep. Both of them, roughly half, half, half of Meunier and Pinot, and we go whole cluster ferment on, on the red. Okay. Um, no destemming, just punch down every, every 12 hours or eight, 8 to 12 hours. And then we age the, the red wine for 18 months in barrels before using it for the rosé. Mm -hmm. And, and well, but this is yep. a very small proportion of, of, uh, of red wine. We use on, on the 17 base, the one you're having now, this is not even 5% of red wine. This is something like 4.5% of red wine in the blend. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like a, a quite intense, um, quite intense blood orange kind of color. Um, yep. it's, no, it's not really pink. It's it's more towards the orange spectrum. Do you know that ro the perfect timing for rosé is breakfast? Um, because uh, I agree. I I don't drink coffee anymore myself. Um, I prefer to drink champagne. Yes. Wait so champagne will make you will make you very happy, while coffee stresses everybody. So just just drink champagne. It makes your day much easier. I like that. That makes absolute sense. Champagne for <laughs> breakfast. Do you know, I, I used to work a long time ago at um, Coldstream Hills in uh, Oh, in yeah, in Yarra Valley. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And um, back then, this was still uh, you know, James Halliday, the, the yes. wine writer. 
mm -hmm. it was still there uh, and it was just living up, up to just really close to the winery and he had this tradition of bring of um, um, cooking a barbecue for Good Friday, uh, like Easter weekend, uh, Good Friday for all the crew, the, the winery crew members. So we were uh, maybe 12 or 15 people working there. So barbecue nine in the morning and champagne for everybody. And I can tell you, it was a very nice day. That, uh, yeah, that sounds perfect. I was about to ask you what the um, what your food pairing um, suggestions would be for this rosé, but I like the idea of barbecue. <laughs> yeah, barbecue breakfast. Well, barbecue works well, but I, I like the rosé actually very much with um, uh, with you know what's the English uh, scallops, scallops, carpaccio. Yep. Scallops, yeah. It's pretty good. You go, you go scallops, carpaccio, and you have just on the side some mm -hmm. uh, mango and apples sliced in very small um, pieces, mm -hmm. um, just a little of lemon, and it makes um, makes it makes a pretty good stuff. 